Welcome to the Neurology Channel. Today we're diving deep into a crucial topic, all about PET scans and Alzheimer's disease. Thanks to a recent policy adjustment by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, access to a crucial diagnostic tool for Alzheimer's disease will become more widely available throughout the country. CMS has acted to broaden the coverage of brain amyloid positron emission tomography, PET, imaging for Alzheimer's diagnosis. CMS has outlined that the specific coverage details will be determined by the Medicare Administrative Contractors, MAX. Now that this vital diagnostic tool is once again accessible, and with the emergence of therapies designed to address amyloid in Alzheimer's patients' brains, it is more critical than ever to grasp the significance of PET scans in Alzheimer's disease diagnosis and treatment. Introduction to Alzheimer's disease. Before we delve into PET scans, let's first understand Alzheimer's disease. It's a progressive brain disorder that affects millions worldwide, leading to memory loss and cognitive decline. An introduction to Alzheimer's disease provides a fundamental understanding of this complex neurological condition, which is one of the most prevalent forms of dementia. Here's a comprehensive overview. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive and irreversible brain disorder that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. It is the most common cause of dementia among older adults, accounting for approximately 60-80% of all cases of dementia. Symptoms and progression. Alzheimer's disease typically begins with mild memory problems and difficulty in performing familiar tasks. Over time, individuals may experience more severe cognitive impairment, including confusion, language difficulties, and changes in personality and behavior. The disease eventually leads to a loss of the ability to carry out daily activities, brain changes, Alzheimer's disease is characterized by specific brain changes, including amyloid plaques, the accumulation of abnormal protein deposits called amyloid plaques in the brain. These plaques disrupt communication between brain cells. Risk factors. Age is the most significant risk factor for Alzheimer's disease, with the risk increasing as people get older. Other factors that may increase the risk include genetics, family history, certain gene mutations, and some lifestyle factors like lack of physical activity and a poor diet. What are PET scans? Now let's talk about PET scans, which play a crucial role in Alzheimer's diagnosis. PET stands for positron emission tomography. It's a non-invasive imaging technique that helps visualize metabolic and functional processes in the brain. Positron emission tomography, PT scans, are advanced medical imaging techniques used to visualize metabolic and functional processes within the body, including the brain. PET scans are particularly valuable in understanding various medical conditions, including neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. Here's a closer look at what PET scans are and how they work. PET scan basics. PET scans involve the use of a small amount of a radioactive substance known as a radio tracer or radiopharmaceutical. This radio tracer is typically a compound that mimics the behavior of specific molecules in the body, such as glucose or oxygen. Radioactive decay. Once inside the body, the radio tracer emits positrons, which are positively charged particles. These positrons collide with electrons within the body, resulting in a process known as annihilation. During this process, the positrons and electrons annihilate each other, producing gamma rays. Detection of gamma rays. Special detectors called gamma cameras or gamma ray detectors surround the area being examined. These detectors capture the gamma rays produced during annihilation. Image reconstruction. A computer processes the data collected by the detectors to create detailed, three-dimensional images of the area being studied. These images provide information about the distribution and concentration of the radio tracer in the body. Metabolic activity. PET scans are particularly useful for assessing metabolic activity. Since the radio tracer is designed to mimic a specific compound, e.g. glucose, PET scans can show areas of the body where there is increased or decreased metabolic activity. This is valuable for identifying abnormalities and disease processes. PET scans in neurology, in neurology, PET scans are frequently used to assess brain function and detect neurological conditions. PET scans can visualize areas of the brain with altered metabolic activity, making them essential in the diagnosis and monitoring of disorders like Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and epilepsy. Alzheimer's disease and PET scans. In the context of Alzheimer's disease, PT scans are often used with specialized radio tracers that bind to amyloid plaques and tau tangles, hallmarks of the disease. 
By visualizing the distribution of these proteins in the brain, PET scans can aid in the early diagnosis of Alzheimer's and help monitor disease progression. Types of PET scans. There are various types of PET scans, each using different radio tracers to target specific processes or molecules. Examples include FDG PET fluorodeoxyglucose PET for assessing glucose metabolism, amyloid PET for detecting amyloid plaques, and tau PET for visualizing tau protein deposits. PET scans in Alzheimer's diagnosis. So how do PET scans aid in diagnosing Alzheimer's? During a PET scan, a small amount of a radioactive tracer is injected into the bloodstream. This tracer accumulates in areas of the brain with higher metabolic activity, such as regions affected by Alzheimer's. Positron emission tomography, PT, scans play a significant role in the diagnosis and management of Alzheimer's disease, a progressive neurological disorder characterized by cognitive decline and brain abnormalities, including the accumulation of amyloid plaques and tau tangles. Here's how PET scans are used in Alzheimer's diagnosis. Detecting amyloid plaques. One of the primary uses of PET scans in Alzheimer's diagnosis is the detection of amyloid plaques in the brain. Amyloid plaques are abnormal protein deposits that accumulate between nerve cells. Specialized PET scans with radio tracers targeting amyloid can visualize the distribution and density of these plaques in the brain. Tau PET scans. In addition to amyloid plaques, tau tangles are another hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. Tau PET scans use radio tracers that bind to tau protein aggregates. These scans provide information about the presence and distribution of tau tangles, which are closely associated with cognitive decline. Early detection. PET scans, especially those with amyloid or tau radio tracers, can help in the early detection of Alzheimer's disease. This is crucial because Alzheimer's-related brain changes often begin years before noticeable cognitive symptoms appear. Early diagnosis allows for interventions and treatment strategies to be implemented sooner, potentially slowing disease progression. Differential diagnosis. PET scans can aid in differentiating Alzheimer's disease from other forms of dementia or cognitive disorders. This is important because the appropriate management and treatment strategies can vary depending on the underlying cause of cognitive impairment. Tracking disease progression. PET scans are used to monitor disease progression over time. By comparing scans taken at different stages, healthcare providers can assess how Alzheimer's-related brain changes are evolving, helping to guide treatment decisions. Research and drug development. PET scans are instrumental in Alzheimer's research and the development of new therapies. They are used in clinical trials to evaluate the effectiveness of potential Alzheimer's drugs and to better understand the disease's underlying biology. Personalized treatment planning. PET scan results can inform personalized treatment plans for individuals with Alzheimer's disease. Based on the extent and distribution of amyloid plaques and tau tangles, Healthcare providers can make recommendations tailored to the patient's specific needs. Combined approaches, Alzheimer's diagnosis often involves a combination of assessments, including clinical evaluations, cognitive tests, medical history, and imaging studies like PET scans. A comprehensive approach enhances diagnostic accuracy. In summary, PET scans, especially those targeting amyloid and tau, are valuable tools in the diagnosis and management of Alzheimer's disease. They enable early detection, differential diagnosis, and personalized treatment planning, ultimately contributing to improved patient care and our understanding of this complex neurological condition. Amyloid PET scans. One specialized type of PET scan used for Alzheimer's is the amyloid PET scan. Amyloid PET scans can detect the presence and distribution of amyloid plaques, a hallmark of Alzheimer's, in the brain. Amyloid PET scans are a type of positron emission tomography, PET imaging that is used to visualize and quantify the accumulation of amyloid plaques in the brain. These scans play a crucial role in the diagnosis and management of Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders associated with abnormal protein deposition. Here's a detailed discussion of amyloid PET scans. Amyloid plaques in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is characterized by the presence of amyloid plaques, which are abnormal protein deposits primarily consisting of beta amyloid. These plaques accumulate in the spaces between nerve cells, neurons, in the brain, and are believed to contribute to cognitive decline. Radio tracers used. Amyloid PET scans involve the use of radio tracers, radioactive compounds that bind specifically to beta amyloid plaques. 
Commonly used radio tracers for amyloid PET scans include Florbitapir, Amivid, Florbitabin, Neurosec, and Flutmetamol, Visamil. Imaging process. During an amyloid PET scan, a small amount of the chosen radio tracer is injected into the patient's bloodstream. The radio tracer binds to beta amyloid plaques in the brain. Over time, the patient undergoes a PET scan where a special camera detects gamma rays emitted by the radio tracer as it interacts with the amyloid plaques. Visualization of amyloid accumulation. The PET scan generates detailed images of the brain, specifically highlighting regions where the radio tracer has bound to amyloid plaques. The resulting images provide a visual representation of the distribution and density of amyloid deposits in the brain. Diagnostic value. Amyloid PET scans are used to aid in the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and other dementias characterized by amyloid plaque accumulation. They can help differentiate Alzheimer's disease from other forms of dementia, which may have distinct underlying pathologies. Early detection. One of the primary benefits of amyloid PET scans is their ability to detect amyloid plaques in the brain, often before significant cognitive symptoms appear. Early detection can enable timely interventions and treatment strategies. Research and clinical trials. Amyloid PET scans are valuable tools in Alzheimer's research and clinical trials. They are used to identify suitable participants for clinical trials, monitor disease progression, and evaluate the effectiveness of potential Alzheimer's drugs aimed at reducing amyloid plaque burden. In conclusion, amyloid PET scans are a valuable diagnostic tool in Alzheimer's disease, allowing for the visualization and quantification of amyloid plaques in the brain. They enable early detection, differential diagnosis, and personalized treatment planning, contributing to improved patient care and our understanding of this complex neurological condition. PET scans for early detection. Early detection is key in Alzheimer's management. PET scans can aid in identifying changes in the brain even before symptoms become evident. Detecting Alzheimer's early allows for more timely interventions and treatment strategies. Current research and future possibilities. Researchers are continually exploring PET scans and other imaging techniques to advance our understanding of Alzheimer's. They're also working on refining PET scans for even greater accuracy and exploring potential treatments to target amyloid and tau proteins. Current research in the field of PET, positron emission tomography, scans, and nuclear medicine is continually advancing expanding our understanding of diseases, improving diagnostic accuracy, and exploring novel applications. This approach is particularly critical for conditions like Alzheimer's disease, where interventions are most effective in the early stages. In conclusion, PET scans are powerful tools in Alzheimer's diagnosis, research, and emerging treatments. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Neurology channel for more valuable content. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more enlightening videos on neurological topics. Take care and be well.